<laughs> the blood is a conduit energy. We can feel the energy tingling all around our body. It's really intense awareness by drinking a powerful cup of coffee. Forty-eight-year-old Michael Vachnil, or Raven as he's better known in the blood-sucking community, is a self-proclaimed vampire who believes drinking human blood gives him vitality. I started drinking blood shortly after my 13th birthday. It was during a very intense sexual act that blood was drawn and touched my lips. At that point, it was just an awakening. Something inside my mind and spirit woke up. <laughs> His friend Blute, who's 28, has been entranced by the vampire community since she was a little girl. I first became interested in vampires when I was about seven or eight. I found a book that my sister owned, and that kind of got the wheels in my head turning, and I kind of molded over a lot and decided that it wasn't the vampire I wanted to be, it was the quote-unquote prey. Blute is what's known as a black swan, a willing blood donor. Both her and Raven are part of a thriving underground vampire scene in Houston, Texas. We find people that we like and we enjoy who are willing to share with us by whatever means, either by sex, by blood, by ritualistic practice. For me, being a black swan is really more tying into my submissive side. It is a way that I serve and that I enjoy serving a dominant in that manner. Sometimes it's a little bit like when you get the shiver all the way up your spine. Because it's, it's actually very pleasurable as well. Blute now travels up to 250 miles several times a year from her home in Shreveport, Louisiana to Houston to let Raven suck her blood. First off, you want to make sure that the scalpel that you're using is sterilized. We use alcohol and tea tree oil to cleanse and disinfect the skin. Some people prefer to use their fingers. Generally, Michael and I, he does lick and suck it off. My absolute favorite way is a Chinese cupping set. It has a shallow bowl on one end and a suction on the other. And you press the suction over a cut and it will draw the blood through the cut by the power of the suction. Mm. I'm not surprised. Mm. <laughs> the endorphins right now are flying really high. It's not a sexual pleasure. It's just like getting a good massage. It's just very relaxing on a deep level. But the practice doesn't come without dangers. So of course there's the risk of AIDS and sexually transmitted diseases, but with risk management it is a lot less than most people would even think. Just don't donate to just anybody. A lot of people think that it's, oh, I'm a free buffet. Bloot and Raven want the wider public to open their minds and mouths to the blood-curdling subculture. The social media around vampires, the Dracula, Twilight, and other such, they haven't given vampires a bad rap. They've humanized the vampire. With the swan, there's compassion, there's love, there's understanding. And that powerful mix of relationship and sacrifice and human bonding and connection with another person if there are people who are out there and are interested, actually do your research, get your proper tools, and make sure to sterilize skin and scalpel. And uh, don't fear us, we're not scary. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs>